it is a story of, I believe, love and family. Um, you know, there are a lot of family dynamics within the show and, you know, friendship and, you know, love and, and all, of the, all of that stuff. Um, it is, I think it is really a really good mother-son story. So it goes back and forth between the 1920s and the 1940s. And Alice is, uh, in the 20s, she's this young girl, really spirited, um, and she falls in love, and she gets pregnant and has a baby, and the baby is taken from her, and so her in the 1940s is her still looking for her baby, and the story of her looking for him. It's a very moving story, and to tell it from two different uh, time periods, uh, and very quickly between those two time periods. It's a challenge, but it's also something that's really pretty to like think about, like looking back on your past and seeing it all connect in the future is really nice. And I think it's it really plays well with how the story's written, the time period jumping, but it's just nice to see that come together. It's a concept I haven't really thought of in stage theater, but I think it translates pretty well. Bright Star itself doesn't lend its lend itself necessarily to being like a large dance musical. Uh, in my mind, depending on how you cast your ensemble, you could, uh, you know, fill out choreography to set atmosphere and things like that behind some of what's happening. But what we've chosen to play with is, is more the pedestrian style of movement. And then there's a couple numbers in the show that do get a little playful and, and do dig in. So we've done uh, a little bit of maybe some traditional musical theater and, and some, some flat footing. And then another number leans into that sort of um, swing, uh, shag with a little bit of like East Coast uh, thrown in to get really lively when they're, they're out dancing one night. First of all, it's, it's got a bluegrass Americana um, flavor to it. So definitely my first time working with uh, mandolin, fiddle, banjo, uh, those kinds of things, that's really fun. Um, but secondly, the show operates in a slightly different way from a lot of musicals in that there are very few solo numbers. So much of every number is ensemble singing. So even if they may not be on stage taking part in the scene that you're seeing, they are singing and creating a music atmosphere that way, which is really interesting. Come see Bright Star. It is this such a heartwarming show the music is amazing, the cast is brilliant, and you know, it's it's Steve Martin, so if you know, if you've seen interviews with Steve Martin, you know he has that lovable quirkiness about him, and a lot of that is very much translated into the show, the music, just the dialogue, the music itself, and the lyrics, and so it's very, very Steve Martin-esque. Definitely come out and see the show because the cast is top-notch. <laughs>